So I was driving around on a day off, guys, just looking to take a few photographs. That drive led me to the Great Western Tiers and ultimately Western Bluff. This area was known to have thylacines in it historically. And in my opinion, it is right at the eastern edge of the region of Tasmania that may still support thylacine. And a couple of posts on the Thylacine Research Unit Facebook page came to mind when I saw this area of recent logging. And those posts were made by Eric and Kim. And what they were debating was that if the thylacine is still out there, do we need to know about it? Should we just pretend that it's not? Leave it be. If it is discovered, will we kill it with kindness? Will we kill it with curiosity? Would our attempts to manage this species just drive it to extinction? And I think for me, this area just literally hit home what sort of pressures the thylacine would still be under. Ultimately, Areas of Tasmania, like areas right across the planet, are still logged, they're still exploited, there's still land clearance in a whole bunch of different ways, and along with roads, poisoning regimes, and other just sort of humanness, I believe that the thylacine probably still be under pressure, that may be more pressure than it's ever been, with these sorts of practices just carving up the habitat that it does need to exist in. I think personally, if the thylacine is still out there, then the population would be well below critical mass. It's going to be very genetically vulnerable because it's not a genetically viable population. And we need to know about that. And we need to know about it quickly because if it is so genetically vulnerable and all these other pressures are compounding against it, then that, in my opinion, will continue to drive it to extinction, not allow it to recover. Guys, just putting my two cents worth into the debate, let us know what you think. www.thylacineresearchunit.org or www facebook.com forward slash thylacine research unit. Bottom line, if thylacine is still out there, we need to protect not only it, but we need to protect its habitat and maybe alter a few management strategies that still occur right across Australia, right across the planet. <laughs>